another day, another adventure. Oh, I think I'm gonna tackle the CSR today. <laughs> so Andrew, I oh, met at Desert Raid 2019, actually at Lake Ballard afterwards when that Lake cool Ballard? dude had that cool car with the paintings on it. So this dude, he's sitting over there and he's, you know, yelling at me, yeah, get a battery back up, don't worry about the solar panels. And I'm just thinking, you know, yeah, another adventure rider with good advice. This man, John Fall. So first time I was, um, got the KDM 350 free ride, wasn't even going and I'm riding down the road at uh, Cannington, just come back from the pistol shop. Yeah. <laughs> and here's this Fine adventure gun. rider flying past me, weaving in and out of traffic, three lanes of traffic. And he's covered in mud and red dirt and empty bottles tipped upside down in the back of his panniers. And he flies past and I'm going, oh, that's what I want to do. So I chased him in and out of traffic down Canning Highway, bailed you up at the lights. You thought I was a fucking crazy woman with a big dog hanging out the back of the car. Like, where'd you get your panniers? And, and he goes, uh, Frio Doctor. Frio Doctor Marine. Marine. And I'm going, what? They don't sell motorbike shit. He's going, Frio Dr. Marine. I'm going, oh shit, that's who he is. <laughs> so I get to my apartment, Google, find the number, call him up. And he goes, oh mate, yeah, I'll give you a hand, bring the bike over. And you know, yeah, I'll show you a few things. So off I went to bloody Frio and John was the one that bloody helped me put all the, um, because when I bought it, it didn't have the indicators and all licensed on the road. So back in there, he helped me get the whole bike up and going. And then the first time we went to go for the ride, the bike didn't start. He goes, don't worry, I'll bring one of my bikes. So he brings me out as Hasseberg 302 stroke. My first ride ever in the bush among daring. Him and his son, Zane. I, I, I dropped the bike three times just saying, oh, I'll just take it for a little test ride. By the end of the day, we're fucking down the power lines and he's riding out next to me going, fucking slow down, Ross, you're gonna fucking kill yourself. I had the best time ever. You, you, you started it. You, you made me bloody challenge my fears and, and fall in love with this fucking crazy sport that's motorbikes. Ah, oh, darling, thank you for everything. <laughs> thank you for everything. What a journey. Thank you. <laughs> what a journey. This crazy ah. <laughs> That's us, the short afters. <laughs> Good morning, gents. Ross, how are you going? Yes, yeah, so about 60 riders all up, Ross. That's great, I, I, eh? I, I think, hey? I think this has been a what success. What a cracker. Yes, it ticked all the boxes. Yep. I'm going to attempt the CSR today, so I might get to Well 3 and camp up there, but we'll see. Yeah, well, yeah. You, if you were going to do the whole thing today, you're leaving it Yeah, I'll be knackered, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would be a big day. Yeah, I, um, I wouldn't do it. I'll just stop when I'm tired. You're travelling with anybody? No. Okay, well, be careful. Yeah, <laughs> always am, darling, when I'm but, by myself. Well, there's a bloke at Well 3. Yeah, broken, broken foot. Broken, broken, yeah, yeah. Whatever, so yeah. at least you'll have company. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he got picked up by his mates. Summer Perth homies. Ones that brought me so much joy catching up with them. I haven't seen you guys, so Mon joined the group just after I left. But Sasha and Ant haven't seen them for 13 months. I can't wait to do a group. Oh, you guys have a safe journey back and uh, see you back in Perth riding in our backyard. Woo! Yeah, a couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. <laughs> Yeah, so be safe riding home, eh? Sasha, look after my bike, mate. Look, look after my bike. <laughs> you make sure he doesn't drop it, eh? Don't want any more scratches on it. <laughs> yeah, that's crew. All right, everybody, do a jump shot. <laughs> and they're off. Safe journey, doll. See you home. to go. Right. 
I'm going to tackle the CSR. No one else is riding same time, so take my time, do it at my own pace. But being the last one going through, the track's going to be a bit chopped up, but I'll take my time. Always do safety first, right at my own pace. No other distractions. Come on, Artemis. Let's go have an adventure. See ya, guys. Enjoy the adventure. Be safe. See ya.
they're going to be those horrible sandy sections. Yeah, that's full on. Stop for a second. So, in a sense, the fact that the um, bikes have all been through and sort of chopped up the track, it's also a good thing because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see this track. Sort of can't tell which way it's going without seeing the tire tracks. But yeah, whew, hard work. Yep, don't need the pressure behind, don't need the pressure in front, so let them pass. Here comes more. Hey. Hey. Hello. Oh, you got to shut it. last woo hey yeah great uh, I think we got the worst to come yeah this is the easy part apparently from well 3 down or 3a down is is where all the shit sand is so this is the easy part what we've just done is the easy part apparently all the deep sand starts from well 3a south yeah <laughs> so let's enjoy this <laughs> see us up the road see ya and I don't like eating dust <laughs> They won't be doing killer kilometres today with a few hangovers in the pack. <laughs> and Ben's like me, just taking his time. I don't want to eat dust and I want to get to the other side. In one piece. anything with any kind of speed because then you miss something and you're off the track so you just make up for lost time on these sections but the technical sections I'm doing it slow rocks 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 I don't want to be smacking your rims on these. Guess I'll shut the gate. Do the right thing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, my good girl. Yeah, this whole section's really nice and fast. Sort of sweeping, twisty bendies. It's great. Oh, so dry 
Big beautiful trees. This would have been a great camp spot. Oh, this is beautiful. That's what I love. Riverbeds with big trees, and these trees are gigantic. Grand scheme of things out here. Huge. So the boys are off again. They're going to try and make it to sandstone tonight. <laughs> need more beer. <laughs> I'll let them go ahead and I'll take off. I've just taken off more layers because I'm drinking too much water. About 60 k's minimum before getting to L3. Apparently from this corner up here, 3A, that's where the horror sand is. But yeah, taking my time. I don't care. If I don't get there, camp out in the bush. My only issue is I've just stripped down more layers because it's actually quite a warm day. So I've just got to be very conscious about my water. That's the only thing. All right. Carry on, dear girl. They're far enough ahead. I'm not going to eat dust. I should have just rode down, but I didn't have the right line up. I just don't want to risk anything on this trail because I just want to get out of it. No peace. shit than that before. This is quite remote. And which way is it out left? Fuck. I need my fucking short legs. loose as oh look at the angle of that that's just shit that shit that shit oh, I didn't need that oh that's gonna be bald here lifting that Energy. I might have 
strip off even another layer. is set up for a shitload more weight and because I'm riding lighter the suspension's a bit firmer but I don't want to mess around with a, the Olin settings and ruin the setup because I'm not that knowledgeable on it Rocky turn around. <laughs> okay. We're in position. I'll just have a rest. Mouth full of water. I'll make sure I get out of there. on the other side that'll tell me. So not here. Fuck where is it? This is not good. Might be that other other track then back there. Yeah because there's nothing coming out here. I reckon it's that other turn off 
the odd bike going through here, but definitely not the majority. And then it's straight into that deep sea. So yeah, we worked out what happened. It's just one rock. So it came down, black rubber on that one, hit, hit that rock. And then once he's in this with the loose rock in the sand, seeing all these big spears, fixation, bang, down. Lucky he didn't bloody get skewered with one of these. Our paramedic to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> this is your second injury for this. <laughs> just flew overhead but we didn't think anything of it because it was like a little Learjet but underneath the wings it said rescue and this is what I was going to do earlier and I should have done silly girl but use my foil 
So that's easier to spot from there, out in the open. Peace is going over again. I really want to set one of my mini flares off. I'm a bit worried about the dry bush out here though. There he comes. Here, let's hold this up. Okay. Hold it up. In the sun. Yeah. That's it. Good old foil saves today. can't see that. So what do you reckon, Ben? <laughs> it's a PLB. It's what it's for. It's a flare. We just got to be very conscious of that wind, point it up in the direction of the wind so it comes back down where we are and we make sure it doesn't set a bushfire. Yeah, good. Keep the fire stoked. Yeah, he's definitely seen us this time. We got this bloody flapping in the breeze and got the fire going and he came down low. Damn, I really want to use my flare. And he's, he's turning around a lot quicker now. I reckon he's seen us. Just make... He couldn't have missed us. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't have missed us. He came down low. Uh, yeah. That's saying, yeah, we've seen you. No, they were doing a grid, but then we were in the middle of the grid. I don't think they saw us the first couple of times. The first time, but we were in the trees. We None of us came out because we were like, nah, surely a little Learjet wouldn't be coming over. We were expecting a helicopter. Just get ready to grab this again and do it again, just to be sure. <laughs> Good. He's done a lot of ambo work and stuff. Has he? Yeah, he's he's pretty trained up. Yeah. That's why we like taking the guides. Yeah, good. If somebody come off one of us, he would have done probably what that other guy does. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. We done. <laughs> The other newer foil would have reflected better than that, but we got our buddy laying on it. <laughs> but yeah, they definitely saw us. worth of rope that was all caught through the tree so I got it to here and Ben helped get all through there and at the end of it was a sat phone hey absolutely yeah great how good's that and that's why I donate to the Royal Flying Doctor service and those things we could there's a trusty old foil I can see it from here I can't rave about it enough. The foil. The foil. Yay! The foil! How good's that, darling? And yours, you're laying on the two shiniest ones. So that's my dodgy one. These ones were shinier, but I didn't want to get you up. Great. So I can't believe my little foil, my foil, <laughs> my $11 little corn servo foil. And I carry three of them, people. One is a footprint, one is a bike cover, and the other one is a doormat. So that's it there, how good's that? So that's what they saw. That is what they saw. Get yourself a foil, people. And here come the boys. 
Well done, boys. Well done. Woo! Double dinky decker. Two up. Woo! Well done, boys. Oh, that wouldn't have been very comfortable. <laughs> instructions on what to do and who to call and the, it's in all the different languages did this radio come in it as well yes. so that one this is the one that rick's been talking to the plane with and then the box with earphone jacks and headphone jacks and a car charger and then a satellite phone as well how good is this and then these it's got four liters of emergency water Bloody good. This is so this good. Is, um, what a crack a little adventure, hey? You won't forget this one in a hurry, will you, darling? <laughs> and thank you, Rick. Good job, buddy. So poor buddy's on his annual leave. <laughs> Didn't make it to Desert Raid because he assisted someone yesterday with a broken ankle and then got back on his journey and then another injury. And here he is stuck out with us people. It is it's what it is. hard, hard, isn't it? You Just can't really uh, beat the pace though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keeps working. Yeah. Absolutely. Great attitude. Great attitude. Always an adventure. Carry on. Keep those kidneys warm. Yeah. Yep. Alright, we ready? Yeah, mate. Head, head One, head. two, three. <clears throat> Good lads. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's always an adventure, hey boys? <laughs> oh, I'm just a little bit OCD, darling. <laughs>